Hello, this is Jules from VR Tracker to show you today a new integration in a Unity, which is the integration of VRTK Toolkit. Uh, VRTK, to show you a quick overview of the features, you could go on the YouTube uh, and check for the VRTK overview video. But clearly, it shows you that you can use it uh, as a teleportation for interaction with pointers, interacting with objects, uh, create some snap drop zones. Uh, grabbing objects, resizing them, using the bow and arrow, uh, creating menus, uh, keyboards also, uh, climbing, so, and some body physics. So there is a lot of stuff that you can do with the VRTK toolkit. It is uh, uh, many scripts that you can use very easily actually to create interaction in VR with the controllers. And well, we were starting to work on our own script and we thought, Okay, VRTK is great, it is open source, so what we should do is just make VR Tracker uh, compatible with VRTK to be able to use all those functionalities very easily. And that's what we did. So currently it is available, the, the integration is not completely finished, but it starts to be available on, the, on our Git. Uh, I'll give you a link in the video, or you can see it's in the examples it is in the VRTK branch. So here there is the, the, the beginning of the integration and I'll show you how it works right away. So I, I'm going to be using uh, Oculus with our trackers and also what we call the one, which is a controller with a button to interact. So let's get started and assign the trackers. All right. So now we are in the in the game. What is nice with the VRTK is that there is a simulator that allows you to simulate the controllers and the headset and simulate the interaction. So this is uh, this is nice when you don't want to be in the headset, but see what happens. See your logs also. Uh, this is something I like. So to start the VR tracker in VRTK, we just have to press load in here, or maybe not. Okay, what's going on? Okay, no, I wasn't just pressing that right. Okay, so let's just put the headset on. Let's set the orientation. All right, and all right. So as you can see, I have my controller here. I think I can, yeah, you can see it in the game. So for example, it allows me to use the button objects but you have also a different kind of graph for example this one is a bit a different one it's like the, the object stays under I can also use wheels and there's also buttons that I can use so if you want to have easy interactions I can open the door and I have no more wires okay Let's get some extra length. I can open the, this, I can grab some stuff. And you can see also the, the, when, they get, uh, when they get yellow, it means that there is an interaction that can happen. So that can be useful to explain to the users that there's going to be interactions. Can grab that. And also, you can see, so I have the, the one uh, that you can see here, that is my 3D model of the controller. So I could use any model, but sometimes when the user grab an object, she wants you to use uh, another model as a replacement. So for example, if I grab the gun, it's actually going to replace the one by the gun 3D model, which is pretty cool. And when I uh, drop it, I get my one back, just like that. All right, and this is another kind of this is kind of a weird interaction though. Okay, so you can see. Let's just stop this. So you can see this works pretty well. It is very nice to have uh, these interactions in VR. There are many more example scenes and I'll do some documentation on the VRTK integration as soon as it is proper and finished. 
but it will help you a lot uh, creating interactions in VR and uh, it is very helpful. So I hope you like this update and uh, well, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, bye.